May 17th, 18th, and 19th, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the sun is in Taurus and the moon is in Taurus on the 19th at 28 degrees at 8.53 a.m. Pacific time. That means there's a sun and moon conjunction in a dark sky in Taurus on the 19th that requires you to stop. Because guess what? There are five planets in Taurus, Jupiter, Moon, Uranus, Mercury, and the Sun. If a baby were born with five planets in Taurus, that's just the wildest thought. You would have a musician. I just have to say during double Taurus, they are gifted in the throat. It rules the throat and the tone of their voice is soothing. They have the gift of healing by using sound. And this is what would happen during five planets in Taurus. During a new moon, you would put on soft music. You would put on Enya, whose birthday is coming up right on this day. You would put on India Ari. You would put on anything soothing from Snatam Kar, any kind of music that would allow you. This is what Taurus does. They soothe us. They give us the gift of calm. And what is music but a way to let your mind just be quiet? This is nonverbal. A double Taurus sky without the element of air. There's only one planet in air, just Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius. It just entered, for God's sake. It's almost like having none. So it's a time to go in. It's a time to be quiet. One of my dearest friend's birthdays on the 17th. She is one of those friends that I had from kindergarten that I used to walk to school with. I'm going to do a shout out to her. Happy birthday, Elise. We would hold hands and walk to school. We've been friends all these years. Why? Because Taurus does loyalty. And once they bond and they give you their heart, you trust them. They're reliable. They're consistent. And they're so steady eddy. So if someone with five planets in Taurus, at worst, they get stuck. They feel like they're boring. They feel like they're not moving enough. They're not getting enough done. It's just not true. Just having them in our world. I love her so much. She's going to love getting this. Okay, so five planets in Earth, four planets in water. We're talking about mud. Let's reduce all the judgment of Taurus and say, some people in this world like to do something repetitively. They are always respectful of time. They're always reliable. And we count on them to give us the same food. They always make the same food. They always eat the same way. They go to the grocery store and they can't stand buying the new thing. No, we do the stuff we've always done. I have a little bit of this in me, routine, repetitiveness, consistency. And then the nervous system gets so stable. Think of a tree, Taurus rules a tree. Solid, stable, the giver of air, says the tree, but it doesn't need to move. So all of you who judge yourself for being Taurus, I don't move enough, I'm not active enough, don't underestimate your presence. Your presence, just sitting next to Elise, makes those of us that love her very happy. We don't care about all that movement. So finally, I get to say to you, calm down. Enjoy this new moon in Taurus. It's your turn to slow it down. And by the way, five planets is very unusual. For so many years, it used to hurt my feelings that I felt different or separate. And then I realized it was a gift in disguise. It meant that I had a uniqueness and I didn't have to follow what others did. This is what astrology is all about. It's about promoting individuality, celebrating diversity, and letting you be quote unquote weird. It's not a bad word. It just means that you're unique. Let's change it. So I created Tell Me a Story. It's an intimate writing class. I'm your teacher. And it allows you to change those judgments or those misinterpretations of your character so you feel better about you. It's like magic to watch people fall in love with themselves right in front of me. Click the link in the description to find out more.